Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for a bit of a different video. Uh, today, we're doing an opening reaction, and we're, we're going to be reacting to the show. Right there to my right, we're going to be reacting to Soul Eaters, both two openings and four endings. So, uh, Soul Eater is a show that I've wanted to watch for a long time. I just have never gotten around to personally uh, watching it myself, but um, I Fire, uh, Fire Force is obviously done by the same author, uh, if you didn't know i feel like a lot of people know that by now but uh, fire force is one of my favorite shows of all time I, I absolutely love fire force to death and uh this is by the same author and i know it's in the same universe as well i'm pretty sure they say there's like some big lore thing going on going on that like soul eater occurs after fire force so anyway uh, a lot of interesting stuff with the lore of these two series but i'm not going to get into that because i know nothing about soul eater i haven't seen any of the openings i've seen literally nothing i just know it's by the same author and it's a show that i've wanted to check out for a long time now so i thought why the f not check out the uh, check out the openings and endings and i believe cosmic suge suggested this to me as well in the comments of my Nora Gyru opening reaction and so i thought why not i'll, I'll, I'll give it a go because uh, i know this is a lot of this is a very uh, og show like a very old anime and it's a lot of people it's it's holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts so we're gonna be reacting to both openings and all four endings today um so we're going to do op1 and then two endings and then op2 and then two endings after that so we'll we'll, we'll get tear through all of these here in this video uh but without further ado i think we're ready to hop straight into soul eater opening one there's the iconic moon right there Man, the animation looks so crisp. I know this show is like known for its really amazing animation for its time. At least I'm pretty certain that's what it's known for. Ooh, okay. Oh, dude, that scythe is so cool. Actually, that scythe is so f cool. I love the guitar solo. And like the transitions from character to character are so clean. What on earth? Why is there just a totally naked cat? <laughs> what on earth? I love her weapon, oh my god. Scythes are always so cool. There's so many characters too. Okay, thank you for putting these over the opening. Damn, that was really good. Okay, let's not get into the after credits stuff or whatever. I'm just gonna cut to where that is not on screen. That was great. That was a really good opening. Uh, a lot, a lot of interesting characters in this main girl here, I'm assuming. I'm assuming these are our two main characters, the girl and the guy here. And uh, uh, her weapon is so f cool. Like any scythe used in anime is immediately a win for me. Scythes are just such cool weapons. Like I, I don't know why I like scythe so much, but uh, her scythe is f massive and the way she swings it is pretty damn cool. We didn't see much of the main guy, but I am assuming that is the main guy. Uh, in the series from all the ch uh, cover art and stuff that I've seen he seems like the main guy as well along with our main uh, girl protagonist here but overall that was a very very good opening I liked the song and not much else to say that was really enjoyable like I said I I, I like the weaponry being used there's a lot of characters there was the naked cat that's still on the table for whatever unknown reason but a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff so now uh, I guess we'll hop into the first ending All things considered, this is already infinitely calmer. But yeah, that's definitely our main guy and main girl there, for sure. Ooh! Oh man, I love these drums! Oh man, I love this song! Whoa! Oh, he transforms into her scythe! Oh! 
That's interesting. That's why we didn't see him in the first opening, because he was literally the scythe. <laughs> I'm gonna need to look up what studio does this because it really looks good. Yeah, getting a showcase of probably some of our main some of our main characters here. Damn, damn, that was really good. I really enjoyed that, especially the drums in the beginning. Oh man, songs with drums like that give me every time. They're so good. Overall, that was a great first ending. I don't think I have too much to say. Good showcase of the characters and the re reveal that he is her scythe. Uh, so that's very intriguing. How, however, that works in the show, I have literally no idea. But uh, I, obviously there's, there's some explanation for it. And then we saw a showcase of some of the other main side characters uh, that are going to be in the series. So overall, I liked the, I really liked the song. It was it was fun. It was a fun song. If that if that makes any sense at all like when the drums kicked in and it started getting really upbeat that was just like really fun uh to listen to overall so now without let's without further ado let's get into ending two i will say if i'm watching these in the wrong order i do apologize like if i'm supposed to watch op1 i, I don't know i don't know what order i would watch them in this seems best in my mind but here's our main girl dressed up in a bit of a different fit here Is this the whole ending? <laughs> Imagine this is the whole ending. Uh, it means I just get to enjoy this song, I guess. Nope. Very simple ending with a very enjoyable song. I have no complaints. Not much commentary, but I'm liking it. And There's our main guy. Man, the animation really is so pretty for the show. The art style is super unique too. Like super unique art style. So we have like a really unique art style paired with really good animation is always, uh, always gonna end up with something special. I have nothing to say about that ending, other than that was very enjoyable. I like the song, the very simple visuals. I, I, a lot of people will complain about a too simple of an ending or too simple of an opening. I have literally no complaints as long as the song's enjoyable and I can just sit there and vibe. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. Really, like, the over-the-top visuals are just a plus on top of an already good song. So, I have nothing else to say about this one, so let's hop straight into opening two. Once again, the animation looks so clean. I wonder how far into the show this occurs. I would assume halfway, right? And I want to say this was like 51 episodes. So I feel like this would happen around like 25, 26. Ooh. This one feels a lot more serious in the first opening. Yeah, clearly some main villains here that we're gonna have to deal with. Ooh. Yeah, much more emotional. Dude, I love this. It feels like, you know, you're reaching the climax of the series. Oh God, what happened to her there? The moon with like the blood dripping from its mouth. Uh, wow, that was so good. 
I unironically kind of want to watch that again. <laughs> that was really good. The visuals were uh, so pretty. I was just more or less letting the song play out uh, during the course, but the visuals during the course were so pretty. It felt like in a more emotional song overall, like you're really hitting the climax of an arc or the climax uh, of the series, I guess, in this case, because Soul Eater is completely done from everything I understand. Uh, finished a long, long time ago. But yeah, the animation looks really really goddamn gorgeous and uh that's really all i can say a really great song i think that is my favorite out of all the openings and endings that i've watched so far <laughs> only three of them that is my favorite uh and then i'd probably i probably put i'd probably go op2 ed1 op1 and then ed2 that is my current list but we still got two more endings to go so uh, we'll check both of those out right now Yeah, sorry, the main guy just looks like consistently angry. Okay, showing off the uh, scythe skills here. Black Star. Okay, this guy's just got the guns ready to go. I've, I've definitely seen him, for sure. I've seen a lot of these characters at this point. Like, I've seen their character models. Very iconic character designs. Whoa! It's almost... That is such a dope looking sight. Damn, this is fucking cool. The animation, as always, looks amazing. Whoa! Man, this could be an opening, god damn. And then there's the spider lady again. You could unironically play this as, a, as an opening. That was pretty good. The whole squad pulled up there. I'm really annoyed that this end tide, end like card thing keeps popping up in the middle of the opening or ending that I'm watching, but that was really good too. I, the song that one was maybe a little weaker in my opinion. I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna go back through all these like once I'm done recording to get the songs again because I need songs to add to my playlist. But uh, as a whole, I think that's probably my the weakest song, but some amazing visuals. So I'll probably put that, mm, the list would probably, you know what, let's watch the last inning and then I'll make a conclusive uh, list uh, after I've seen them all. All right, final ending of the show right here. This is it. This is like, so far, all I got to say is these openings and endings have really made me want to watch the show. That's about all I can say. Once again, this song feels like it could be part of an opening. <laughs> Is this like the villains? There's so many of them. There's so- and also all of them have such unique designs per usual. This show has such unique character designs. Oh god. What's happening here? Like pulling a sword out of uh, something there. This really feels like it could be an opening. Damn. And of course the flashes of the characters that would probably be so cool are completely covered up by this stupid end card thing. Damn, that was good. That was really good. I think. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'd have to skim through each of them again to like really make a conclusive, conclusive list, but just off of first watches. Like I'm not gonna go back and rewatch anything yet. 
uh, off of first watches. Hmm, what would I rank them? I'd probably go OP2, ending four, OP1, ending, ending one, and then ending three, and then ending two. I just, I grabbed the totally wrong fingers. Let's do that again. We've got opening two, uh, then we've got ending four. This ending was amazing. Ending four, uh, then we've got opening one, and then we've got ending one, ending three, and then ending two. That's not it. That's not all, is it? Is there only five? No, because there's four endings and two openings. I'm skipping one here. What am I? I completely skipped out on ending three, I think. Ending three was really damn good, too. I liked both the ending ending three and four. So let's go through one more time and let's let's get everything in it this time. OP, uh, I'd probably do OP2. That is still my favorite of the entire thing. OP4, which made a very strong case to overtake OP2. I really, really like this final ED. I said, I think I said OP4, then I meant ED4. Uh, ED4, so that's two. Then we've got, uh, I would put opening one behind that, and then I put ending one. Uh, so we've got, what, ending one, two, and, or no, 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 ending two and three left. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Ending two and three left. So then I'd probably do ending three, and then ending two. And that wraps it up. That would be my, my conclusive list off of first watches. I would probably uh, reorder some things around if I was to go back through. But overall, these were super enjoyable. It really made me want to watch the show, especially OP2 and Ending 4. Really, really made me want to check out the show. Uh, I think the idea of having the main guy be her scythe is so cool. And I think scythes are just really cool weapons as a whole, like I said earlier. So... Overall, this was a very enjoyable experience and has genuinely made me want to watch the show more. So uh, I think that is going to wrap it, up from, wrap it up from our reaction to Soul Eater's openings and endings. Hope you guys did enjoy and hope you all have a good day.